you're not ready for this cuteness. Eh, hey, ready? Eh, hey, ready for cuteness because this is too cute. Hi. I have not updated this video diet, this um pregnancy diary in too long. Let me see. I think I might have to hold this. I've not been updating my pregnancy diary or filming as much as I should because I've been exhausted. We are officially in the third trimester. Luau she, Luau she. God is so faithful. I feel so blessed. So, so, so blessed. So blessed. And we've had our baby shower and gender reveal. We are having another girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If when you guys see that video, you probably see the shock in my face. I never has spared it. I was so sure it was a boy because this pregnancy has been so different to Fermi's. So, you know, I've heard that as well, that different pregnancies are different, but it was so different that I just thought oh, maybe it's a boy. And I, even my midwives kept like, you know, they're like, oh, the symptoms I had, maybe it's a boy. Let me make sure that the sound here is good. I'm coming. Yeah. So I thought, okay, so maybe we're having a boy because... This pregnancy has really been something. But we're having another girl. Oh, Luau She, Christy Shill. I'm really grateful to God. Um, I did say, I'm not going to lie, I did say that it would be great to have a boy as well because <laughs> that then that means I wouldn't have to do um, somebody else's hair. But God said I have to do somebody else's hair. So it is well. It is well. <laughs> I'm just happy that the baby is healthy. Um, yeah. And I had my <sighs> glucose test the other day. Guys, that thing is brutal. Like, I've, I didn't do it in Nigeria. I don't know if they do it in Nigeria. So I've never done it before. And it's literally like they, they want to test your blood sugar to make sure that everything is fine. And it's usually for. If I think if maybe if they think someone is at risk of gestational diabetes, because I also know of people that they didn't have to do it. And I guess because they didn't, their, like, their history didn't require it. So I did it. I couldn't eat 12 hours before. I was starving, like Marvin. I was so hungry. I went to bed. So I, not that I was hungry, because it was literally like my glucose test was at 8.40 in the morning. So I couldn't eat from obviously 8.40 in the evening. So, and then I, I, I bought food that evening. I bought some Chinese, it was horrible. And I barely ate it. So therefore it was a waste. And then I didn't really eat. So by the next morning I couldn't eat. I had to be conscious because I'm so used to having breakfast. I couldn't put anything in my mouth. All I could have was water. So by the time I got to the hospital, did the test, you have to wait two hours. So you they, take, they draw blood, you drink um you drink the glucose and then you wait two hours literally i was sitting there for two hours playing this game that i've been playing fishdom <laughs> ridiculous but whatever i didn't bring a book so boy so i was playing that game for two hours in the waiting room and then once the two hours is up they take another blood um, sample and i guess they wait up and whatever and thank god the results are good and yeah, do you want to see my tummy? Look at my tummy. Oof. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? Oh Lord have mercy. Oof. Man is packing pee still. Packing pee. I, I feel like I look like a pee. But all, in all in all, we give thanks to God. All in hall, hall in hall, hall in hall. I'm just really grateful to God. Um, I am now 29 weeks. 29 weeks. 29 weeks and four days. I'm going to be 30 weeks this weekend. <sighs> Guys. I'm not going to cry because I'm not trying to ruin this makeup that I spent time doing. 
But I'm going to say to you, if your relationship with God is non-existent, please get it. Just get one. If you don't know God, if you don't know Jesus, let him into your heart. Give him a chance. He will never fail you. Never. And if you're if you are a Christian and you just feel like you ha- you need a breakthrough and things are tough right now, I just want to encourage you that, trust me, God hears and he answers prayers. Honestly, just keep praying and keep trusting him. Keep having that, trying to have that childlike faith that, okay, my father will do it. He will handle this. And be audacious with your faith be audacious with your faith because let me tell you god is really good god is really good and there is no advocate that we can have in this life but jesus christ and i'm just grateful hallelujah that's my intermission of praise and worship because i give all the glory to god i give him all the glory hallelujah anyway so i bought some stuff i've started buying baby things oh my god my husband said i should not buy girls things because he's heard stories of people being like oh they did a gender reveal it was this gender and then baby came and it was another gender this baby is a girl end of story and i've because i've i've seen too many girl dresses and i'm too excited to shop let me show you what i've bought i've not opened it yet and i'm excited so let me share it with you guys Ooh. Oh, Emil. Oh. It's a big bag of stuff from TU. Let me see if I can just tie this to my, fit this to my, to here. And I hope the, the sound doesn't drop. Anyway, yeah, that's fine. So I did a big shop. I say big shop. Is it big? We'll see. I should have bought loads of things from TU, which is from Sainsbury's. Because they always have like those cute little good stuff. And the good stuff is even not bad. And it was on sale. But you know me and sale. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for me. I don't because, uh, let me tell you actually, the reason why I buy a lot of things on sale, I worked in retail for seven years and five of those years was clothing retail. And I know how the kind of the structure works. So you see a lot of things that are full price. Um and I know around the time that they're gonna drop because it's always the same. They haven't really changed much. So for me, it will pin me that I will see something full price in a couple of months time. It now, be, it now goes on sale. Why am I going to buy it full price? So unless it's one of those like unique stores or luxury stores that things never really go on sale, fine. But I am not going to pay full price for something that I know is going on sale in a few months time. That's just how it is. It, and you know, sometimes you just feel like I have to have it. I still buy a few things full price if I need it. And I know that it's going to go because there are some things that just go. But most of my stuff, let me not lie, it's sale. Anyway, the first thing I bought, God. Ah! So I wanted to buy a newborn, but I'm thinking that if I buy a newborn, what is the baby? This baby, she could be big or I don't know. So I bought zero, zero to three. Look at this, this is cute. This is a little sleep suit. I, do you know i just can't i can't believe i'm gonna have a little person who is this small like this is wild <laughs> this is too i i can't deal i actually can't i can't deal i can't deal so i bought a couple of um like short sleeve body suits like little vests that were she wear underneath her suit suit i bought this because i just had to <laughs> This is little sister. Brownie. Oh my god. I'm gonna get her a I'm gonna get her a Mia shirt that says little and um, big sister. Because honestly, Fermi is she's already the best big sister ever. She really is. I bought another sleep suit. It has like kittens on them. And there's one with like mice, little mice on them. They're just cute. Look at this, it's cute. So I was just thinking that I'm just gonna buy loads of sleep suits. For the first few months because that's that's basically what baby's gonna be in and because it's gonna be quite cold um it's gonna be december like december slash january that's the winter so yeah i bought myself 
for maternity leggings because guys it is real my wardrobe is like I've, I've been removing stuff from my wardrobe that i can't fit into <laughs> and it's almost like all of my wardrobe that i cannot fit into so i had to get maternity leggings it was on sale as well so yeah i hope it fits and what else oh my, again more, more sleep suits in different color love a bit of a neutral um this guys you're not ready for this cuteness hey ready hey ready for cuteness because this is too cute too cute i hope it's not hitting on my chain this is too cute. Oh! i can't believe i'm gonna be a mum to two little girls me that's wild anyway look at this <laughs> this is too cute stop come on look at look at, look look at that look is this not cute look i'm all children stuff baby stuff is just the cutest thing i bought this because i just couldn't deal this is a bib for like when she starts <laughs> when she starts eating solids it's got sleeves as well i was like yo man's preparing for the six month mark already okay i forgot i even bought this for myself I bought myself this cute dress. It was also on sale. It's kind of cute. Like, it's maternity. Because, guys, I was like, I didn't want to buy maternity because I'm like, what am I going to do with it after? This is my last baby, by the way. I'm, I know they do it again. I know they do. I know they do it again. Um, but, yeah, like, I had to get something because, like I said, all my clothes are tight. They're tight. Tight. I saw this little hat. It's so cute. Like two of them, two hats. It's like three pounds or something. The, the sale was sweet. And these socks. Oh, the little frills. Do you know what? That's what I mean. I think when I started shopping and looking at clothes online for children, for baby girls, that's when I was like, I'm so excited of having a girl because they are too. What? The way I'm going to dress her up. And Fermi's like, oh, mommy, I want us to be wearing the same clothes. I've got you, baby girl. I got you. Mama has got you. I got some more socks. What else did I get? Look at this. This is cute. It's too cute. I have to find a top. I thought I had a top and then I, because I didn't check out in time, the top went. But this is cute. Like, look at that. Getting them ready for the summer. And then look. Look, guys. Can you deal? Because I can't. Let me only deal, by the way. But the cuteness, you. I got myself some maternity bars. Because I had been taking off my bra the, on Sunday in church. I had to take off my bra. Discreetly, of course. And then, like, because I felt like I couldn't breathe. So when I, when I undid the clasp, and I undid the clasp, I think I spat for it. Um, I could breathe. So I will now ask Aisha. I said, Aisha, I need to... I mean, to put the clasp back on, she was struggling. Yeah. I got a big back now. So I had to get this. Anyway, this is cute. Please, can you deal with how, can you deal with how cute these are? Let me just put, make sure that this is in focus and not my face. Can you deal with how cute these are? These are too cute. Where's she walking to at this age? Nowhere, because it's zero to three months. But I'm not too or too cute to Because when when we get to me, you know, like my shackle, my shackle. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, don't mind me. And then I saw this. Oh my gosh. And this is my favorite color. My favorite color is mustard yellow. More socks. Because, like I said, because winter. This is for summer. I saw this and I was just like, this, yeah, perfect, perfect. Summer hat. And then look at the shoes. Ah! So I got these shoes because I was like, yeah, by the time it's on sale again, why not? It's like four pounds or something. And look at this, guys. Let me take out the bag. Let me take it out. Please. Can I just ask people that design children's clothes and shoes, like baby clothes and shoes, what are you trying to do? Make me spend all my money. But look at this. Look. Can you see it? 
look how cute they are too cute she's ready for the summer do you know what i mean they're gonna be they see us rolling we're enjoying anyway i got another hat i just got loads of little hats because you know you know fake you to mom on me shang mommy and i got her tights and that's it I think all of this cost about a hundred and something. Hundred and let me see how much it costs. Is it here? Because I want um, you know, I like to get down with the down with the figures with y'all because I like you guys to know that you can get nice things for your children because you know children they, they outgrow stuff so so quickly. So why not get themselves stuff? Um. And doesn't have to be like um bad quality you can get good quality on sale at the right time so i, th I think i spent like say give or take about 130 maybe 150 something like that on all of this in total which i think is very very good and yeah and you know again babies they grow so fast that's why i'm not gonna i'm just really buying loads of sleep suits because they grow so fast and but i still want to i just want to take pictures of her and her cute little dresses but yeah that's all i got that's what i got guys and uh, yeah i'm really happy i'm over the moon with what god is doing in our lives um and i don't take it for granted I think that sometimes I think initially I would be cautious about the fact about how much I spoke about God on my platforms because I didn't want to alienate certain people but yo my whole life is Christ period so <laughs> unless unless I'm going to deny myself I cannot deny how much God has done for me and my family so I have to always share that with you guys and encourage you to keep your eyes on God because he loves us so deeply. I can't, I haven't even begin, begun to scratch the surface of how much Christ loves me. How much Jesus Christ loves me, I haven't begun to scratch the surface. But the little that I have scratched, guys, can last me a lifetime and I am in full gratitude. I am in a season of complete gratitude to God. And yeah, I'm sharing that with you guys because I pray that you feel that too if you haven't. And if you are in that season with me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment below. And if you are a mama and you know, or a new mom or you a recent mom how are you doing how are you managing also how do you deal with shopping for your children what do you do are you a sell shopper like me <laughs> or you just buy it whenever you know, just like whatever full price gucci whatever <laughs> let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in my next video bye I